opening drive on the ground, and it's a first down. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. And that gets them three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Swift again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. In motion right is Wilson. On first and 10, here's Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Around the motion, man right. Now Murray throwing on second down. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. Here's third and ten. From the gun, Murray. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Hey, 
Here's a handoff to Swift. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 73 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Scott will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. Just power football there down near the goal line. There, sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. On second down, here's Murray. And this will be swung out here for counter. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Shotgun now from Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll send Brown in motion right. Murray now on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Connor. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Just need a yard here, second and one. Easy, easy, easy. Now Murray again. Escaping the pressure right. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all he needed. First down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they will go from the 47 now on first down. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Murray now on first down. To Connor on the check down. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Cardinal passing game dialed out. Played in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. 
They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. First down, Murray. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another connection between the two. This one good for the game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. More the motion man. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Murray. He'll get this to DiMercato. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as... Here is third and five. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the handoff, it's Di Mercado. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Amari Di Mercado. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Cards get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Now a second and 10. Hurts. He's going to let it go again. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. 63, 63, 63. Buffalo 18. Here's Hurts to throw. My rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the cards are going to have it here at their own. They give up the touchdown on the last drive, now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much, because as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Yeah. 
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. He's got this downfield to McBride. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Here's Murray. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. timeout with five seconds left a chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 33. Prater's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. start a drive. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is 